To be honest guys, I feel this needs to be said and I feel most other content creators won't say it because of how it will affect their relationship with Bungo. But feel free, DPJ is here. Just kidding guys, I am no saviour, but I will talk the truth and straight up. This whole solstice event is nothing but a reskinned waste of time money grab by Bungo. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another D2 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the solstice of heroes arrives back into our destiny lives with the EAZ. With it, it brings us the most repetitive grind I can remember in Destiny 2. The same shiz most of us have already done. I mean, if you are a newcomer to the game, you'll probably enjoy it for a while, which is fine and good for you. But for the majority, you have done all this before, it's nothing new and in reality, many of us see through the true purpose of this event. It is a cash grab by Bongo. Now firstly, the armor grind. For me and many others, I know it's just far too bland and repetitive. Literally nothing has been changed from what we've already done for armor we received last year, which by the way, ended up being utterly useless. So useless in fact, I and my Titan and Warlock still haven't picked it up from Banshee. But the grind gets worse people. You will get to a stage where you have to get 7 Trials wins to progress further. But let's not talk about the fact we have said for many many years, we don't like being forced into playing certain activities or modes. Then they drop this on us. Problem here is though I believe, without spending any silver or bright dust you have to complete all armor upgrades to unlock the ornaments for this gear so it can be applied to any of your current gear. If that's even true, I'm not even sure. If you do complete this, complete all armor, does it unlock the ornaments that you can apply to other armor? I'm not sure. But if you do reach that purple set by just completing the blue set, you are able to purchase the ornaments from Eververse for silver, as you would imagine, or also you can spend that bright dust. 6,000 bright dust per character, or 1,500 silver per character, which isn't too cheap. And here is where the issue lies for me, truly. The gear requires a tremendous grind to fully get out, but I do believe even at the end of the grind you do not walk away with masterwork gear like we did last year. The third and final set of challenges only apply the glow to the armour, it does not masterwork it. So through all this grind, through being forced into playing activities you probably don't like playing or don't have the means of completing, and let's cut to the chase, getting 7 trials wins, all you get is glowing armour which isn't even masterworked. Nor is it guaranteed to be anything decent stat wise. If you are lucky and land something good, you will still have to use your own materials to masterwork it. Whereas most people now already have that amazing gear which is masterworked. Why not just apply ornaments to the armour you already have which can be purchased for bright dust? I mean bright dust isn't hard to come by, you've probably got 6000 at least to spend. Another major issue I have and I'm seeing is the fact I mean yeah for sure, you can continually farm rolls of armour via solstice packages, but this grind here is beyond hurried. As for the most part you get blues from these packages, I mean that might change when the whole armour has been completed but even still, keys are given out absolutely everywhere, public events, strikes, lost sectors, pvp games, wherever, but packages can only be acquired from the EAZ, which quickly becomes tedious. But hey, I get it, there's nothing else to do anyway, so we may as well complete these armor challenges on all three characters to get those juicy one time exotic sparrows and ships like last year. Nope. That's been taken away too. I mean yes, there are some pretty decent looking sparrows and ships you can get with this event, but if you want to get them you will have to spend the hard earned money as they are exclusive to Eververse and no you can't use Bright Dust to purchase them, they cost silver. I mean maybe in the last week they may change what they've dropped on us and drop them in the game for Bright Dust, I mean how would people feel then who have spent silver on these because I'd be pretty pissed off. So yeah I mean I hope Bungie changes this up but right now nope if you want these, if you want these pretty looking sparrows and this actually amazing looking ship you have to buy them. Which by the way I ain't anyone to draw anybody who wants to purchase things for silver and directly support Bungie. That's completely up to you. I myself have purchased things I like from Eververse. My problem here is all the fact that these pretty new sparrows and ships which are solstice related can't be earned, only brought. I mean me personally I might grind the armour anyway as like I said there's nothing else to do. 
But hey, I might even purchase the ornaments from Eververse with that bright dust. And that way I can apply them to my already masterwork gear. Yeah, and look who cool that changing up my build. I mean, there might be a triumph for completing this on all three characters. But in my opinion, that's a poor excuse or initiative for us to actually complete these. The reward needs to be something more. Remember when Luke Smithio said that they would add more cosmetic rewards to gameplay because that is what is good for the game or whatever? Well, in this case, it seems to be that whatever. So lucky how you please. At the end of the day, the Solstice event, although it's a crazy grind, I don't think it's a grind we want to be doing. But hey, that's just my opinion. I know people out there love this and well, that is good for you. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more D2, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.